I am Jin Seiyu from uh, Wonju Severance Christian Hospital, and I'll present to you a systemic review on the accuracy of, of ultrasonography for the evaluation of portal hypertension in patients with cirrhosis. Portal hypertension is a physiological result of liver cirrhosis and can lead to serious complications such as variceal bleeding, uh, ascites, hepatorenal syndrome, and hepatic encephalopathy, which all results in significant morbidity and mortality. Therefore, it is very important to precisely grade the degree of the portal hypertension in these patients. So far, the gold standard in the assessment of portal hypertension uh, has been the measurement of hepatic venous pressure gradient, otherwise known as HVPG. However, its invasive nature, uh, as well as the need for the use of specialized equipments, has limited its use in the clinical field. On the other hand, ultrasonography uh, is a non-invasive procedure and it can obtain several parameters known to be associated with uh, the por portal hemodynamics. There have been numerous studies assessing the utility of ultrasonography in grading the degree of portal hypertension. And this study systematically reviewed these studies to investigate the accuracy of ultrasonographic assessment of portal hypertension and to determine whether ultrasonography can ultimately replace HVPG. Uh, we ultimately selected 14 studies, including 827 patients uh, that used sonographic measurement of ve blood velocity, blood flow, RI, PI, hepatic ve vein waveform, and hepatic vein arrival time as index test. These studies also used HVPG as the reference standard test. We reviewed the main outcomes of these uh, studies, including the diagnostic accuracy, concordance of the comparison tests, and the correlation with HVPG. The results were categorized into three groups, the indices relevant to the portal vein, the portal artery, and the hepatic vein. Indices relevant to portal vein included portal vein velocity, PVV, portal vein flow, PVF, and congestion index, CI. The sensitivity and specificity of the portal ve venous indices were 69 to 88 percent and 67 to 75 percent, respectively. The correlation coefficient for HVPG and portal venous indices ranged from 0.296 to 0.8, with approximately half of the studies reporting significant correlation with HVPG. Indices relevant to hepatic artery uh, included hepatic artery velocity, HAV, hepatic artery flow, HAF, uh, and RI and PI of the hepatic artery. Neither uh, sensitivity nor specificity of was reported for these values, and the range of correlation coefficient with HVPG was very wide, uh, ranging from uh, 0 0.01 to 0 0.83. The indices relevant to the hepatic vein included the transformation of triphasic waveform into biphasic or monophasic waveform, the damping index, uh, abbreviated as DI, and hepatic vein arrival time, HVAT. Abnormal hepatic vein waveforms were, were observed in 86.8 to 92% of the subjects. The sensitivity and specificity of DI was 75.9 to 77.8% and 81.8 to 100%, respectively. HVAT was also found to be a powerful index with high sensitivity, specificity, and positive and negative predictive value being reported. It was found that portal vein indices were not sufficiently sensitive for the accurate assessment of portal hypertension, particularly due to the variations in the portal systemic shunt pattern and the inter and intra observer variance. The accuracy of hepatic artery indices uh, was also limited because of the difficulty in reproducing the, P the same conditions for measuring the PI and DI, uh, RI and PI across the different patients. Hepatic vein indices exhibited moderate accuracy for the detection of portal hypertension, but only a small number of studies using the hepatic vein indices were included in this review, and the indices could not be measured in patients with poor echo window. In conclusion, this systemic review found that while indices uh, measured by ultrasonography are dependent on the operator's skill and on the patient's characteristics, they can serve as a useful adjunct for clinicians in the management of patients with liver cirrhosis, particularly the indices associated with the hepatic vein. Thank you for your attention.